Hey everybody, welcome to Spooky Urban Legends. Today we're going to be talking about Bloody Mary, the legend of Bloody Mary and the real woman who may have inspired it. So the legend goes, or history tells it, after burning hundreds of Protestants at the stake in the mid-1500s, Queen Mary I of England became known as Bloody Mary and a chilling legend was born. Some believe that the Bloody Mary legend is directly tied to the queen who bore the same nickname. Queen Mary I of England became known as Bloody Mary because she burned about 280 Protestants alive during her reign. Born on February 18, 1516 in the Greenwich Palace in London, England to Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon, Mary seemed an unlikely candidate to become queen, let alone a bloody one. Her father deeply desired a male heir and spent Mary's childhood doing whatever it took to get one. Now, Mary's early years were largely defined by Henry's determination to have a son. When she was a teenager, the king scandalized Europe by declaring his marriage to Mary's mother illegal and incestuous because she had been briefly married to his brother and his intention to marry Anne Boleyn. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys remember the movie and the story of Anne Boleyn and her sister. Keep that in mind. He divorced Catherine, married Anne, and tore England away from the Catholic Church, establishing the Church of England instead. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, Mary was declared illegitimate, made a lady instead of a princess, and separated her from her mother. She stubbornly refused to acknowledge that her parents' marriage had been made illegal, or that her father was the head of the Church of England. Now, over the years, Mary watched as her father married again and again and again. After executing Anne Boleyn, he married Jane Seymour, who died in childbirth. Henry's fourth marriage to Anne of Cleves was short-lived and ended in divorce, and he executed his fifth wife, Catherine Howard, on trumped-up charges. On Henry's sixth wife, Catherine Parr outlived him. But Henry had gotten what he wanted. Jane Seymour had a son, and he named him Edward VI. When Edward VI died just six years into her reign, his reign, he tried to ensure that power passed on to Protestant cousin Lady Jane Grey. But Mary seized her opportunity and led an army into England in 1553. A groundswell of support put her on the throne and Lady Jane Grey on the executioner's block. As queen, however, Mary I developed her Bloody Mary reputation. As legend goes, Bloody Mary is the easy to summon. All you have to do is stand in a dimly lit bathroom, stare into the mirror, and chant her name three times. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Then if all goes according to plan, a ghostly woman should appear in the mirror. Bloody Mary is sometimes alone and other times holding a dead baby. Often, legend states she'll do anything but stare, but occasionally she'll leap from the glass and scratch or even kill the summoner. But is the legend of Bloody Mary based on the real person? While the Bloody Mary story may be fabricated, there are possible figures from history who might be real, like the real Queen Mary I. She has been called Bloody Mary for centuries, as well as a murderous Hungarian noblewoman and an evil witch who killed children.